Good morning, Internet. Welcome back to the cute cesspool. It is uh, experiment time. So as you can see, nice little mini base. I actually have hired a dupe to be the rancher. Uh, the pip. I got a pip in here and looks like, wow, yeah, they they did a great job. They planted all the trees. Over here, I was storing Max's hydrogen and then I finally got the port unloader built. And I, God, I gotta be getting through most of them. Down to 500 kilograms. There's like 1,200 in there. It's all being pumped up into my new hydrogen storage. And basically all that's running right now is the pump that pumps the hydrogen out. But here's what we're experimenting on. I got this analyzed. It's gonna go off in about two cycles. And I was trying to figure out how to fit it all in with this neutronium. I don't know if this is gonna work or not. But there's only two ports of this liquid bridge open. See, three out of five inputs blocked. I used this door. So that way this pump could evacuate everything. And now that that door is closed, it should keep the hydrogen over here and the steam over here. That's the theory. Hopefully the steam turbine can keep up enough to keep the hydrogen vent cool. I don't really know. Oh good, all this water is cleaned up. No, I did that wrong. Alright, so now we can clean all that out. At some point, I, I will make it all better. As you can see, we got plenty of more water over here that I popped out of this side. In fact, we can probably just extend that idea. Yeah, we can just do that, and all this, most of that water will fall over. We found a saltwater vent, and then there's some other vent down here. But right now I'm working on uh, just basically sealing in the base by having a pip ranch. I also need to make a kitchen. Unfortunately, the new dupe I hired can't cook. I really wanted a rancher that could cook, but we're not there yet. See, Hassan, no cooking. So next dupe I hire will have to be a cook, and then we can start to make a... Yeah, it would have been nice if I could have fit a thermal regulator in here. Didn't think about that. I'd already built all of that because I didn't know when that was going to become active until I had this all built out. So yeah, I need to figure out a place to put a kitchen and food storage, but that won't be that hard. And I think there's enough metal volcanoes around here that I'll need more active cooling. Is that uranium? Yes. So that's a cold biome. Screw, let's just come down. And see what that is. I mean, at some point I will probably, you know, make this a sealed off area. My dupes will have to come in from the other side, but this will work. And then the aqua tuna is cooling the whole base, not that it needs it at all. It's all green. Speaking of, that might be a metal volcano right there. Oh, it would be perfect if these were both metal volcanoes. Then I could use one steam room for everything. Apparently I forgot that Lyra, on top of all of her other skills, is apparently a rancher? At what point did I skill her up for that? No idea. Okay. Lyra, you're going to need a skill scrub. You have just a bit of everything. <laughs> oh, this is natural gas. Okay. And there's carbon dioxide. Salt water. Alright. Well, I mean, that's extra fuel. Well, let's get busy with the skill scrumming. I think a few of my dupes might need it. I typically never quite get around to them. Hence the where the heck, uh, it's in stations, right? Yes. You can run off of this. I 
And I've been some issues with uh, stress when I first start setting up bases, so I figure some skill scrubbing is a good idea. I mean, really, who doesn't like their dupes lightly shaken? Cook? No. I don't need to hire another dupe yet. I just want to. So do I keep digging down? Yeah, why not? And let's see what you are. Forgot how long this takes. I can't even see the thing. I'm still an issue with some of my dupes not getting to their bed. Even when they were living inside the base, I'd still find them asleep in random places. Even though assigned to a comfy bed. What okay. Oh, uh, half a cycle till eruption. Yeah, like Lyra came back down here to sleep, even though they have a bed. Maybe they fell asleep inside the skill scrubber. There we go. Sometimes, dupes, sometimes. Well, let's see how this does. Hopefully it doesn't overheat everything before the water vaporizes. Maybe I put too much in. And this is routed to cool it so it won't boil anything. Okay. So it's transferring heat to the water just fine. And now I have this set to two and a half just to let the pressure in here get up high enough to really start impacting everything. None of the gas is making it through. I just gotta make sure I never click that button. Okay, good. I was afraid that there might be a gas leak or something else we were just going on, but we are transferring heat. Nothing's gonna overheat. We are good, what do we got? Second hydrogen vent. <laughs> well, I am going to need more cooling for that. Wow. Okay, so this base has plenty of power. Well, I guess I get all this cleaned up, seal in the base, and start exploring the other side. Oh, we did make it all the way over there. dormant so we can just dig into that. I could probably build the whole system around this and just have the water in it. All right I guess that's the next goal. You should be just about up to steam. I mean, it's got to heat up all of this stuff as well, so this bit might hit... This might get up to steam level, but it's going to immediately condense on everything. Is my rocket empty? My rocket is empty. Nice. Well, it didn't quite flash any of this. Yeah, let's set this down to a...
two kilos. And now we can analyze you, except my only researcher was Lyra. Where are you? 21 skill points and rocketry is our main one. And you like construction. This is all going to fill in. Yeah, I'm thinking if I just build... If you just come out this last one. If I build everything in like this... Yeah, then I just put the steam turbine on top. Oh, that is the right size. This was blocking it, but that covers everything. All right, let me queue all this up. Even a small group of dedicated dupes can get stuff done fast. And if I just keep working my way along this way, I can keep that a vacuum. And I just gotta drain the excess water out. Oh, Ashkin can also research. Okay. It'd be nice if I actually paid attention to what dupes could do what when I take them someplace. That, that sounds all sorts of easy. I see some steam. Not very much, but there's just a little bit. Not entirely sure how it's making that water boil. Helps transfer heat. And seriously, that water is like 15 degrees below boiling. How is there any steam? Whatever. Next eruption should finally get it over the top. That's too far away, right? I'm trying to think if I could incorporate that into this one, but that seems too far away. Weren't there more metal volcanoes or is it only gold? I thought aluminum was here too. No, nope, just, no, yeah, gold and aluminum. Where are my aluminum volcanoes? No vent up there. They must be right in here. Maybe I can combine those together. Cook. Can't do attacking, but you can farm and cook. Lindsay, welcome to your new permanent home. Not too worried about food. I brought three full refrigerators of berry sludge. So I'm not going to need to cook up barbecue anytime soon. Alright, are you done yet? There you are. Next 57 cycles. Okay, I've got time. Now if I dig this down, with that tile there, I can get it down to one layer of water. and not risk it getting any air in it. Oh, you know what would be helpful? A pipe output for my steam turbine. I almost forgot that.
double check everything. We've got power. We've got shipping. Plumbing, we don't care about. Okay. I mean, my main concern is that this doesn't move enough water to cool this down, but I'm betting it will. Now I'm not getting steam out of this? Come on, boil. You know you want to. There you go. Well, it's going to definitely take a while for that to get the other 25 degrees up. Let's dig a nice hole over here and let all my water down. So now i got this nice vacuum and all of this water level is coming down. <laughs> I forgot to lock the door and the new dupe comes wandering in. I mean, I'll probably break through that. Maybe I won't. Seriously, where are my aluminum volcanoes? What are you down to? I want to leave some water here to cool the steam turbine. In, the oxide pumped in some oxygen. <sighs> That's annoying. I don't have enough gold. It's all inside of there. Whatever, copper will be fine. I think I can just do this self-cooled if I just do it like that. If I want to change it, then I've got the bridge. I might be asking too much, but we'll find out. It's gold. Gold doesn't get super hot. Maybe that's it down there. Yep, aluminum volcano. Okay, those are close together. Well, it seems like we need to come down more. All right, now the water in this Gold Volcano is coming down enough. Maybe it came down too far, but I can always pump more water in. That would be like 10 per tile. Even maintain that as a vacuum with my little water drop there. Ooh, are you going to do it? I need four more degrees. Hey, 
Okay, there it goes. Almost. It's producing a hundred watts. I'm getting 800 grams of water out of it, which makes sense. Yeah, so we'll keep it on the temperature and see if it creeps up too much. If it does, then I'll have to figure out a way of getting more vents open. Yeah, I suppose I can get a pump down here. I just come straight down like that. And I kind of do the same thing and tame I want to tame those two together. Am I at the bottom? Not yet. Yeah, I don't really want to dig down more into the radiation without... Oh, radiation's not too bad. Screw dupes, you're going to have a bad cold time. I just want to see the bottom of the base. Well, that looks to be the bottom. We got a beehive over here. All right. Let's come see what we find on this side. Well, my steam turbine got this down to 125 before this erupted again. So yeah, that's gonna work fine. Sure. Yeah, kind of a weird, funky design to fit around the neutronium. I wasn't sure if it would let me build the steam turbine there, but that worked. And at some point, the aqua tuner will turn on. But this area isn't warming up nearly as much as I was afraid it would. And we've only got 500 grams of hydrogen versus 10 kilos of water. So that's not really unexpected. And I got 50 cycles for that one to go off. Usually there's two. Oh, there's one. I'm, that's one right there. I bet you. All right, let's get some free gold. And we'll see if that's another volcano. And yes, it is. There is a dormant aluminum volcano back there. I mean, it'd be funky to try to put those three together. But I guess if I put the steam turbines over the top of these two and have them drip down there, and then bring all the debris down to make sure any water at the bottom evaporates. I don't know. I'll have to have a think about it. Yeah, that should be it. There's the other, there's another carbon dioxide vent and 20 kilos of hydrogen. That's weird. Usually there's not hydrogen down here in the beta hive biome or radiation biome or whatever you want to call it. These won't be active enough. I was just thinking what if I combined the saltwater vent with all three of the volcanoes. That, that just seems like a bad idea. Now my main goal for this mini base is it's up and running. I just skilled up Hassan so we can start ranching. Now that we've seen where the metal volcanoes are, there's another... Oh, I did open that. Why did I dig that open? Eh, whatever. It's overpressurized anyway. Alright, well... Hopefully everybody doesn't break that liquid lock and let all this hot hydrogen out. Alright, thank you all very much for watching. I've got a lot of digging to do, that's for sure, but 
I am happy with my hydrogen vent and storage, and then this area is not insulated, so it will be cool so I don't boil my brine. And I hope you all have a wonderful day, and how is this still pouring? Overheated. How did you get that full? How did you get that full? You have overflowed. This is set for one kilo. If it detects anything, it's supposed to turn off. How is it possible for this to have overflown? It's like it for not paying attention to the main base. All right, let's just turn off that pipe because no idea. Anyway, I guess I should pay attention to the main base for a little bit and get all of my mess cleaned up. And I hope you all have a wonderful day and we will see you next time.